video is part of our Fundamentals of Nursing Study series. Today, we will discuss patient positioning. Positioning is always a vital nursing action that requires an awareness of the client's status and procedure. Proper positioning is also essential to keep the client safe during procedures. Positioning is one of the most common tasks done by a nurse. Nurses typically position clients to prevent complications or promote their client's condition and well-being. Positioning is also one of the many topics that nurses teach unlicensed assistive personnel. We will discuss various positions today, including the uses and the nursing concern with each position. The first position we will discuss is Fowler's, also known as the semi-sitting position. It is a bed position wherein the head of the bed is elevated 45 to 90 degrees. There are four variations of Fowler's position include low Fowler's, 15 to 30 degrees, semi Fowler's, 30 to 45 degrees, standard Fowler's, 45 to 60 degrees, and high Fowler's, 90 degrees. Let's look at each of the Fowler's positions. In the low Fowler's position, the head of the bed is elevated from 30 to 45 degrees. Therefore, this position is suitable for rest, sleep promotion, reducing lower back pain, and preventing aspiration during tube feeding. The semi Fowler's position, the head of the bed, is elevated from 30 to 45 degrees. This position allows for maximum chest expansion and is best for alleviating dyspnea. The standard Fowler's position, the head of the bed, is elevated from 45 to 60 degrees. This position relaxes abdominal contents and prevents aspiration. Therefore, this position is best for clients with gastrointestinal issues such as appendicitis. The nursing concern for the standard Fowler position is an increased pressure risk in the client's scapula, sacrum, coccyx, ischium, back of knees, and heels. Therefore, the nurse should monitor these areas for skin changes. The high Fowler's position, the head of the bed, is elevated 60 to 90 degrees. Therefore, this position is the most suitable for eating and drinking to prevent aspiration. In addition, the high Fowler's position is referred for inserting a nasogastric tube to reduce the risk of pulmonary aspiration if the client should vomit. We also use the high Fowler's position for clients with autonomic dysreflexia to promote adequate ventilation and prevent a hypertensive stroke. The nursing concern for the high Fowler's position is that this position places pressure on the vertebrae, scapula, sacrum, pelvis, ischial tuberosities, coccyx, back of knees, and heels, calcaneus. So again, the nurse should monitor the client's skin integrity changes in these areas. The next position is the lithotomy position. In the lithotomy position, the client lies supine, elevated to the hip level or above, with the feet in stirrups. It is the position of childbearing and other gynecological procedures. It also allows adequate visualization of the female genitalia. This position is commonly used in obstetrical, urological, gynecological, and rectal surgeries. Concerns specific to the lithotomy position are nerve damage to lower extremities and the risk of blood clots from being in the stirrups for an extended period. Supine. In the supine position, the client lies flat on the back. This position is best for hypotensive clients and is used for clients with suspected spinal injuries. For clients with spinal injuries, we will lug roll as a unit when moving these clients. The supine position is commonly used for the following procedures, intracranial, cardiac, abdominal, endovascular, laparoscopic, lower extremity, ENT, neck, and face. There are concerns regarding skin integrity changes when the client is supine. The supine position places extra pressure on the back of the head, the scapula, the elbows, the sacrum, and the heels. Therefore, this position puts the client at high risk of pressure injury. The client must be turned and repositioned every two hours to prevent pressure injuries. Prone position. The prone position is when the client is lying face down with the head turned to one side. A pillow can be placed under the lower legs to promote dorsiflexion. In addition, a thin pad can be used to prevent hyperextension of the neck. The prone position is often used for spine and neck surgeries, neurosurgery, colorectal surgeries, vascular surgeries, and tendon repairs. The prone position places pressure on the cheek and ear, zygomatic bone, shoulder, acromion process, breasts in women, genitalia in men, and toes phalanges. The prone position is also the preferred position for infants with spina bifida. Lateral. The lateral position can be right or left-sided. Right lateral means the right side of the patient is touching the bed. The patient's left side is touching the bed in the left lateral position. 
The lateral position can be used when turning patients to avoid pressure ulcers and prevent pregnancy vena cava syndrome. In addition, the lateral position increases uterine and renal perfusion during pregnancy. After a liver biopsy, we put the patient in the right lateral position to place pressure on the area and prevent bleeding. Pressure areas associated with the right sideline position include the side of the head, parietal and temporal bones, ear, shoulder, acromial process, ilium, knee, medial and lateral condyles, and ankle, medial and lateral malleolus. Sims position. In the Sims position, the client lies on the left side with the left leg straight, and the right leg flexed at the hips and knees. The Sims position decreases abdominal tension and allows the drainage of oral secretions. This position facilitates the flow of the enema solution into the rectum and colon. Trendelenburg position In the Trendelenburg position, the client lies supine with feet higher than the head by 20 to 30 degrees. Therefore, it appears as if the client is upside down. The Trendelenburg position is used to treat severe hypotensive and slash or shock patients who can benefit from this position because it promotes venous return. In addition, the Trendelenburg position is used for surgeries on the lower abdomen and pelvis. This position helps to displace intestines into the upper abdomen and out of the surgical area. Reverse Trendelenburg the reverse Trendelenburg position is when the client lies supine with the head higher than the rest of the body. This position is used in surgery to help promote perfusion in obese patients, treat venous air embolism, and prevent pulmonary aspiration. Our Fundamentals of Nursing Study series aims to help you succeed in nursing school. You can look at the other videos in this series by checking the videos in our Nursing Fundamentals playlist.